Hi, in this video, I want to do a quick simulation of how a mobile app can access data or can access device information and use that information for the app purpose. Uh, just a real quick example here is that, uh, okay, several, or I would categorize the data from the device or from the phone into two different category. One are those data that doesn't require user's permissions, meaning that any app, uh, once it's installed in the phone, it can access the data. And the other category is those data that requires user's permissions. That means any information or whenever the mobile app trying to access the data, then it will require user's permissions. For the first group of data, uh, the type of data that doesn't require uh, user's permissions, for example, are device IT, and then device manufacturer, device, uh, the battery level, uh, carrier, and then uh, device name. And there are a lot more of information that can be gathered without requiring user's permission. But this is just an example. And this is the app, uh, how it gets, how my app gets the device ID and then manufacturer because this is a simulator or a, yeah, it's an Android emulator. And manufacturer is Google. And then the battery level, it's currently at 82% uh, carrier Android and the name or a device name, uh, Android SDK. Uh, this could be your phone names. Now, the second group of data or that falls into a second category that requires user's permissions, for example, are location and context. Uh, this will require you to uh, allow the app to access location. Uh, from the settings app permission. So in this example, I already enable uh, location permission for the app. My app name is device scan. And then the second one is context. I already enable context, right? So now let's get back to the app and all I need to do is let me. So that first block of code, it's how I access location. The second block of code, this is how I access the context from this uh, simulator. So, and okay. So let's refresh, and that's how it looks. So I got this this location with longitude, latitude, uh, altitude, and then the uh, list of contacts from this phone. Uh, I have uh, added uh, several names like Stephen Hawking and then Stephen King and then Larry King. So these are the three contacts that I added into this emulator. So this requires permission. If I don't allow, if I didn't allow or give the permission to access this data, then this data will not be accessible. Right. So let's, let's just take one quick example. Oh, let me just disable location, for example. Uh, I'll, I'll remove the location permission for device scans. Let's say I don't allow access, then what happened is uh, as the app loaded, it will ask for access, uh, ask for permission to access the device location. So you allow this and you will get the location. So that's it.